What's up guys, Demon Asylum here bringing you all a new video. So as I told you already since returning, one of the things I'll be doing here on my channel is updated videos of all still working Fallout 4 glitches after every patch. I wanted to let you guys know that I have begun doing the necessary research and testing to find out what glitches still work, and I've even started working on a couple videos for some of those glitches. So if all goes according to plan, I should have my first updated glitch video out tomorrow. Now something you should know is that I'm going to be doing these updated glitch videos in chronological order based on when they were found and when I uploaded them. I feel as though it just makes sense to do it that way and I think it will make it a bit easier on my end to keep track of everything as well. Once I've completed uploading updated videos for all still working glitches I previously covered, I will then also move on and upload videos of still working glitches that I didn't ever cover. Finally, I will do a compilation video of sorts simply letting everyone know every still working glitch and directing them to each of my videos of those glitches that again I'm going to be uploading prior to that. I did videos like that in the past following new patch releases, and they seemed to help people out quite a bit, so I figured it would be good to do a final one now that obviously no more patches are coming. Also, for anyone wondering why I'm going to do these updated videos, there are still many people playing Fallout 4 that are interested in glitching and wanting to know all of the ones that still work. Could they end up finding my older videos covering some of those glitches? Absolutely, but they won't know if they're still working due to how long ago I posted them. Not only that, but some things have definitely changed within the game and for a few of these glitches that I previously covered and that still work. So me updating them will not only allow me to account for those changes and make the glitches as efficient as they can possibly be now, but it will also allow me to generally make the tutorials for them higher quality and easier to understand due to having covered them once before, seeing any mistakes I made with them, and also from receiving endless amounts of feedback and advice from viewers. Aside from all of that, I look back on my Fallout 4 glitching videos and I get a sense of nostalgia as well as a spark of motivation and passion that I unfortunately had previously lost. So if I'm able to sort of go back to that mindset and time just once more and with that produce even better updated glitch videos for anyone here on out that may be looking for them, I'm going to do it. Then once I finish doing all these updated glitch videos, the only Fallout 4 content I can realistically see myself even trying to do is uh, for mods. Past that I may do a random video here or there talking about something within or in regards to Fallout 4, but that's about it. That's going to be all for this video though guys, if you have any questions or would like to give your thoughts in regards to any of this, go ahead and let me know about it in the comment section, and if you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like on it down below, and subscribe for many more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.